Mr. John was the CEO of the company. The professional expertise was beyond measure. The work culture created was extremely rigid, yet yielded lucrative results. John was relaxing in his drawing room, listening to some jazz and sipping some drink, a usual affair of the evenings. His ambition had given him all the luxuries he desired, from the luxurious cars to his properties. He could build all for himself over the last 32 years of his tenure in the company. John was absorbed in deep thoughts that evening. Despite attaining success, he was internally empty. He had a happy family once. His ambition and inability to strike the work-life balance killed his family involvement. Over the years, his wife and two children felt neglected. Whenever he communicated what they expected, he summarized all the luxuries that his workaholic nature flooded them with. They didn't want the monetary exaggeration. All they wanted was his time. His care was missing. His untold feelings distanced them from him. Ten years back, his divorce materialized and his wife had custody of his two children. At this age, his heart craved some company. The huge mansion he entered after work lagged life. Is this the life I wanted to design? thought John, as the alcohol seemed to remind his doings, with a jerk. The neglect he had inflicted towards his family was gifting him with his deserted life. What is there after my work life? Where would I go? These thoughts reigned in his mind, a realization after years, an introduction to reality. The loneliness tormented him badly. He picked up his phone and rang up his wife's number. This number does not exist. Please check the number you have dialed. This broke him down completely. He had taken his family for granted for years. At times he had misbehaved with them. Sometimes the fight with his wife went on to the extent of violence. The shrieks of his wife. Her cries used to fall on deaf ears then, and now he wanted to get them back, but probably all the paths were blocked. He desperately called up his brother-in-law. All that he got was, what do you want now? They are leading a peaceful and happy life, which they deserve. He hung up the phone after this. He took out an old album, caressing the old pictures. What he had lost was right in front of his eyes. He could feel the greed, the violence, the egocentric temperament melting away, getting detached from his soul. Tears rolled down his eyes. He hugged the family photograph and fell asleep. Remorse, loss and emptiness ate him up. All that he had were memories, but this time... The demons he had hard bought had broken up from his soul. The craving remained.